Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below and I can help you out personally one-on-one -on -one with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also brand new on my website. If you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step -step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new girls night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again in your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, These Are Five Reasons Why You Cannot Find a Man or a Husband or a Good Man at All. Right, ladies? So these are my top five reasons why you may say, Sid, you know, I know that I'm a good woman, but I just don't have any type of luck meeting or attracting the men that I actually want. You know, like a lot of times you're attracting or you're entertaining certain types of men that are not good for you or it just doesn't work out for whatever reason and you thought it was good but it just didn't turn out the way you wanted it to and you a lot of times you're confused you are really confused you're trying to figure out why am i going through all of this why is it so hard for me to find my prince charming why is it so hard for me to find the man that i really really want to be with or just a good man at all to treat me right you know, you're just wondering why aren't any men treating women right or just treating you right, you know? And a lot of times it's very frustrating and it's very confusing, you know? Or you just want a husband, period. You know, you just want somebody by your side, but it's just not working out. And you say, Sid, what is it? Is it me? Is it them? What is going on? Why is it so hard for me to find a good man or to find a man at all or to find a man that actually wants to be a husband, be my husband, be with me and only be with me and not want to run around with other women or not want to use me or disrespect me or nothing like that. You know, a, a genuinely good man. So ladies, I'm going to jump right into this video. So number one, the first reason why it may be hard for you to find a man, why you can't find nobody, the reason why you can't find nobody, probably the number one reason is you are always at home and or you're not active on social media and dating apps and stuff like that, right? So if you always at home, and or if you're not online, you know, on social media or you're not on dating apps and stuff like that, 
then a lot of times you all the way out the loop. How is a man supposed to find you? How can you expect a man to approach you? How can you expect to even meet a man or a man to even meet you if you don't go nowhere? You don't even leave out your house. And, and even when you are inside, inside your house, you still are not active online or social media and stuff like that on dating apps. So if you just chilling at home, you just go to go to work or you go to school and you just come home and, you know, take care of your responsibilities at home. You just chill, you relax, you doing everything else, but actually actively dating and you're not putting yourself in a position for a man to even approach you or meet you. How somebody is supposed to meet you and you always at home. If you always at home, then you cannot expect your man to just or your husband to just bust through your door and break in and just claim his love for you and just say, hey, I'm the man you always wanted. You know, I know you've been sitting at home by yourself, but I'm just here to save the day and I'm just here to just sweep you off your feet and ride off in the sunset with you. Right. It ain't going to happen like that. That's a fairy tale. You got to put yourself on the market. You have to market yourself. You got to be out there. A man got to be able to see you, to be able to want you, to be able to approach you. If he don't see you and you always in your house and or you don't even post on social media or dating apps, can't nobody see you. Can't nobody know what you're doing or what you got going on or nothing about you. They don't even know you exist because you always at home. And you're not active on social media, right? So either or, sometimes some women is both. Some women, they're not active on social media or dating apps. And they just be at home all the time. And they just go, go to work or they go to school and just come home. Maybe they go to the grocery store or they run some errands and just come right back home. But, you know, that's all they do. But they never actually go outside and make an effort to, you know, get out more, you know? Or they just don't feel comfortable being on dating apps or social media for whatever reason, right? So you just all the way out the loop, you ain't gonna find nobody, you know? And some women, and some women is either or. Some women, maybe you a homebody. It's a lot of women, you stay at home, you a homebody. You know, you don't really go out as much, but you active on social media. Your, your Instagram, your Facebook popping. Like you popular on Instagram, but you always at home. You don't go nowhere. It look like you be going places. It look like you be outside or it look like you, you popping or it look like, you know, you just be doing your thing, but you know, behind closed doors, you really just be at home and them just be pictures that you just take. But that's rare that you really go out like that, you know? But your dating apps, let's just say you on some dating apps and you get a whole bunch of swipes and a whole bunch of likes and clicks and whatever, you know, you just pop in. And, but you don't really go out outside. You know, some women is like that. And some women, you know, you actually go out and you actually, you know, meet and mix and mingle and you go to different spots, different places. And, you know, men approach you and men talk to you, but maybe you're not so hot on social media. Maybe you don't like really, maybe you don't really like social media like that, or you're not really active on there, but you do be going out though. You know, some women, they do be going out, right? But either way it go, whichever way you flip it, you want to be able to maximize your potential options, right? So you want to be able to mix the two together. You want to be able to mix the dating apps and social media and learn how to work it and learn how to put up a good profile and, you know, stuff like that. And you're going to have to, you know, get out your comfort zone and go out sometimes, you know, get outside your house instead of just going to work or going to school and coming home. You know, like you want to be able to be seen and be approached. And and a lot of women, you know, they always say, why can't I find a good man? Why can't I find a good man? See, I can't never find a good man because you always at home or you don't even have no pictures on Instagram or maybe you don't use dating apps or you don't use nothing at all. You know, you're not putting yourself out there. So if don't know men know that you even exist then how is somebody even going to know your name or know how to even approach you or know that you're even available if you're not even out there, you know? So you got to be able to, in this day and age, if you want to be able to meet somebody, the only two ways how you can meet a man is outside your door and or on Instagram 
Facebook, dating apps, stuff like that, right? You know, there are a lot of places that you can go and, you know, a lot of men can potentially see you and want to meet you and want to approach you. You know, it's a lot of places you can go. And there's a lot of dating apps, a lot of social media, a lot of things on the internet you can get on and you can kind of see what's out there, you know? But that's just how it goes. If you don't put yourself in the loop, then of course it's not going to work out because don't nobody even know you there, you know? So that's number one. You got to make yourself available. That's why you can't find nobody and can't nobody find you because you invisible to the world, you know? So that's number one. So number two. The second reason why you may or may not have some trouble with finding the man that you want of your dreams or just a good man at all is you are not healed yet. So it's so many women. The reason why you can't find a good man is because you be self-sabotaging the relationship yourself. It be you. Sometimes you be the problem because you ain't healed yet and you're jumping into a relationship or maybe you meet a guy and you just cling to him because of, you know, trauma bonds or maybe, you know, you got some abandonment issues or maybe you got some attachment issues or maybe you got some daddy issues or stuff like that. Certain traumas in your life, a lot of times you're not healed from. So you just kind of cling to whatever man just shows you some attention just so you could feel some love or just so you could feel like somebody's there and they're never going to leave you. So sometimes you just cling on to the wrong types of men because you yourself, you're not healed and you end up jumping. And you end up getting yourself into situations that you have no business being in. You end up getting yourself into situations with men that don't care nothing about you, that just use you, and that never want to commit to you a lot of times because you are still hurt. And a lot of times you deal with that toxic behavior and you stay and you allow the man to treat you however, or you stay in these toxic relationships or situationships, whatever, because a lot of times it's comfortable or familiar to you. Since back in your past, you may have been in a toxic environment, you grew up in a toxic environment, or you know you got some traumas and some things that happened to you in your past, and a lot of times it's reflecting into your relationships now, your adulthood, your adult relationships. And some of that stuff comes out. Or sometimes, maybe even with men, maybe you not even healed from the past men that hurt you. It's a lot of men that you may have dated or maybe you attempted to date or maybe, you know, y'all was together or whatever and it just didn't work out or they hurt you. You know, they really scarred you. You know, they really damaged you really, really bad. Like, you know, you was really in love with this man or those men in your past, your ex-boyfriends, the ex-men that you used to talk to, and you got dogged out, you got hurt, you got your feelings and your heart broken, you got stepped and you got stepped and walked all over, you know. And everybody just mistreated you and you turned bitter. It turned you so angry and so bitter as a woman. If you had those men in your past that hurt you, a lot of times you turn very bitter and very angry when it comes to men. And now you're like, it ain't no good men out here. It ain't no good man, you know? And sometimes you start self-sabotaging and you start pushing men away because you're afraid of getting too close. Sometimes you're afraid of getting too close to men, you know, because you've been hurt, you've been damaged. You know, men have really used and abused you and stuff like that. And you had enough of it and you're just trying to protect your heart. You're just trying to you're just trying to protect your feelings. You don't want to be hurt again. So you trying to back away. As soon as a man get close to you, you back him away. You back away and you pull away and you push him away because you're afraid of really giving your heart to somebody. You're afraid of trusting a man with your heart. You don't want to trust a man with your heart and give him that much power over you. And he might just use it against you. 
So you're afraid of getting too close, right? So some women, you know, you self-sabotage and that's the reason why you can't find a good man or a good man can't even love you properly or can't even, you know, even if you do find a good man, even if you are associated or dealing with or dating a good man, he can't even properly love you because you pushing him away because you cannot receive the love that he's giving you because you're afraid and you're scared of being hurt again. So you can't fully open up or let your wall down. You don't let your guard down, you know? And a lot of times that might hinder you and keep you away and keep good men away from you and keep you away from the love that you really, really want because you're too afraid to just because you're too afraid to just let down your guard or allow somebody to love you or allow yourself to love somebody fully, right? So you're not healed. So a lot of times that's why you can't find nobody. So sometimes, you know, you push men away because you're afraid of getting too close or sometimes you're so, or sometimes you're so afraid of a man leaving you or anybody leaving you that you have abandonment issues or attachment issues where now you cling to whoever man, whatever man comes your way just because, you know, you just want to feel that love or just feel some attention or just anything. You know, you just want somebody by your side because you don't want nobody else to leave you. And you and you will put up with anything. This is when a man will walk all over you, disrespect you and stuff. And, and you will put up with anything because you just want him so bad and you care about him so much that you don't even care about yourself. So that's why a lot of good men, even if they are good, they might still end up taking advantage of you because you don't set no boundaries, period, you know? And it might just be human nature to just, and sometimes it's just human nature when somebody don't have no boundaries and they just so nice, you know, sometimes you just take it as far as they let you take it, you know, because you don't have no boundaries and you care about them so much and you just get so attached, you know, and it still don't work out. So you have to have a healthy balance and you have to heal yourself. When you heal yourself and you know that, A, not all men are the same. Not every man is going to dog you. Not every man is going to hurt you. Not every man wants to use you and stuff like that, you know. And B, you learn that you can't get too close, you know, and you can't just cling to just anybody because not everybody got good intentions on you. And there are a lot of men that are out to hurt you and they do want to use you and harm you and stuff like that. You know, it is some men, it is some men that don't care nothing about you that's out to get you, you know? So you just gotta be careful and you just gotta love yourself to have good judgment to say, I don't need those types of toxic men and I only accept quality men and to be able to allow a man to properly love you and stuff like that. But first you got to heal so you can allow a man to come into your life. You can't expect a man to love you right if you can't even allow him to love you or if you don't even love yourself. So you as a woman, it starts with you. You got to love yourself first and heal from your past traumas, your past dramas, your past relationships. Heal from all that, all that baggage that you got, all the history that you got that's in your past. You got to heal from that first before you even think about allowing a man into your life. Because a lot of times, either you going to mess it up or you going to allow him to mess it up because you just care so much about him, you know? So that's number two. You got to heal and you ain't healed yet. So that's why it's hard for you to find a good man or hard for a man or hard for a good man to even love you because you ain't healed yet and you pushing him away or you clinging on to the wrong man, right? So number three. The third reason why you may have a little trouble with finding the man of your dreams or finding a good man at all or finding a husband is you are too nice to him. So kind of like what I was just saying before, you too nice. A lot of women are so, so, so nice to a man and you care about him so much, you love him so much, 
You desire him so much. You put him up on a pedestal that a lot of times you put yourself down here and you put your and you put him up here. You know, a lot of times you will inconvenience yourself. You will make yourself unhappy. You will disregard your own feelings or allow him to disregard your feelings in order to make him happy. You will rather see him happy instead of you being happy. And you allow him to use you, walk all over you and whatever just because you care about him and you don't want him to leave you. You feel like he the best man in the world or you feel like you'll never find another guy like him or you don't want to start over or you're afraid of getting back out there in the dating scene or you don't want to let go of all the history. Whatever reason is, you are stuck there. And a lot of times you being too nice and you allowing a man to walk all over you. You allowing a man to mistreat you. You don't have no backbone. You know, you're being a pushover. You're allowing a man to use you. You're allowing a man to walk all over you and you don't say nothing. You don't open your mouth or if you do open your mouth, you don't ever do nothing about it. You'll never leave him. You don't ever walk away. You don't never put him in his place. You don't never, you know, show him that you're not a game and stand up for yourself. You don't do none of that, you know, and you being too nice. So no matter if, so it don't matter what man you get, even if you get a good man or a bad man, whatever man you get, if you too, too, too nice and you don't have no boundaries, you don't know when to say no to a man, like you never say no to him, you never have a mind of your own, you never think for yourself, you never put your foot down, you never tell him how you feel and what it is and what it's not going to be, you know, stuff like that. If you don't do that, then ain't nobody going to take you seriously, even if he is a good man. It's just human nature again. It's human nature. I don't care how good you are. A lot of times it's just human nature when somebody is so nice and you know they'll do anything for you. You know that at the drop of a dime, if you snap your fingers and, and say jump, they'll jump, you know? And, and a lot of people will take advantage of you, even if they're a good person. If you being too easy and you allowing too much, human nature will just take over. And a lot of times, even a good man might still end up using you or might get too comfortable just because you're okay with, with giving him more of what he wants instead of you receiving what you want. So if you're okay with him getting more and you getting less, then he okay with that. He ain't going to say nothing. If It don't matter how good he is. If you allow him to get away with everything or if he benefits more than what you benefit from him, he not going to say nothing. Even if he a good man, he happy that, you know, he benefiting either way it go. But if you don't say nothing and you're okay with being unhappy, then even if he is a good man, he still may not even care because you okay with it. So why would I worry about it if you okay with putting me up on a pedestal and I get everything, but you barely get the bare minimum, right? So that's when you as a woman, that's when you have to have boundaries and take care of yourself and stand on your own two feet and stand up to that man. And you still have to, and you still have to be mean sometimes, you know, you, you be nice, be nice when it's time to be nice, but when it's time to be mean, a lot of you ladies need to learn how to be mean and how to turn up when it's time to turn up. When it's time to be mean, when it's time to let him know, hey, I ain't the one, hey, that wasn't cool, hey, you better chill out before you lose me, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't like that, then a lot of times you will get taken advantage of by anybody. It don't matter who it is. So sometimes it comes to you with just being too nice. So you don't got to be mean all the time, but you do got to be assertive. You got to be assertive when it comes to certain things. You know, when you want your way, you got to put your foot down and you got to demand. Closed mouths don't get fed. If you got a closed mouth, you ain't going to get fed. You got to open your mouth and you got to demand and command what you want. Let let that man know this what I want. This what it's going to be. Either you with it or you not or you can go elsewhere, you know, and I'm going to be good with or without you. So figure out what you want to do when you like that. 
a man got no choice but to respect you. And that's going to make any man more attracted to you. And even a good man will want to respect you. And he will put you up on a pedestal also because he's like, whoa, look at this woman's value. She not playing none of that. So I have to respect her. So so it, it forces him, even if he is a good man, it still forces him to keep up the good work and to not slack and to not get too comfortable, right? A lot of times the reason why even a good man can get too comfortable is because you allowed him to get too comfortable because you was too nice and you let too much stuff slide. So stop letting stuff slide, okay? And that's the reason why it's hard for you to find a good man or, or even when you do have a good man, you may still have some problems and he may still not act right is because you letting him get away with too much. You cannot be so forgiving. A lot of women, y'all too forgiving. You are too nice and you don't never hold this man accountable. You got to hold this man accountable. If you want him to be a good man and not just a good man, but the best man that he could possibly be, not just a good man. If you want him to be a great man, you got to be able to push this man and hold him accountable. When he start acting up, you got to be able to steer him in the right direction. Like, hey, this ain't what that's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like this. Hey, you know, hey, you getting off track. You know, you got to let him know, hey, you know, you tripping right now. You know what I'm saying? And that will a lot of times hold that man accountable and he will respect you so much more and will hold you to a higher standard and he will... And he will overall just want to be with you just because you hold so much value within yourself, right? So it's all about, again, holding value within yourself, healing, and just let, and just setting boundaries, right? And a lot of times that will attract the man that you actually want. You don't have to be mean as they have an attitude all the time. I'm not saying that, right? I'm not saying you got to be mean and bitter and have an attitude all the time. But I am saying you ain't got to be all the way so nice all the time, especially when he gets to tripping. You got to check that man and let him know, hey, that one cool. You going to lose me real quick if you don't get your act together. Right. So that's number three. Right. That's number three. So number four, the fourth reason why you cannot find a good man or a husband or you may have some trouble with it is you have too much attitude or you are not in a good mood, right? So some women, just like I was saying before about being mean, I just got done talking about being mean, right? Now it's okay to be mean when it's time to be mean, but some women are always mean. Some women are always angry or some women are always in a bad mood or just, you know, angry, bitter, mad, whatever. You know, it's some women that's just never in a good mood. They just always mad. They just always got an attitude. You know, they may be like real snooty, you know, like, you know, real stuck up, real arrogant, you know, stuff like that real narcissistic is some women that's narcissistic right it's some women that's stuck up arrogant that's like i'm the best i'm better than everybody uh look at you look at you look at you why are you looking like that why are you looking like that you just uh you just uh you know and you just got an attitude with everything and everything just annoys you and you just always in a bad mood you ain't never happy you don't never smile you just always mean and upset and stuff like that and you always complaining you just always upset and mad and whatever. Guess what? Don't nobody, don't no man want to be around a woman that's like that 24-7. Why would a man want to be around a woman that ain't even pleasant to be around? You're not even happy to be around. You're not even fun to be around. You take the fun out of everything because you're so angry and upset and bitter and mad and you don't have no fun or you're just so nonchalant. You're just so like, I don't want to be here. I don't like this. I don't like you. I don't really like this. 
you know, I don't really like you. I don't really like them. I don't really like nobody. I'm just, you know, whatever. You know, it's some women that are just mad at the world or just have an attitude that's always snapping back at everything, you know? And every single thing don't need a snap back. You know, you snap back when it's time to snap back. But some women just be snapping and ain't nobody even snapped at her first. Or ain't nobody even went at her first. She just going or just or just or just going off, popping off at the mouth, just going off on whoever. Or a woman that's just doing too much and stuff like that. A lot of men do not want to be around a woman that's unpleasant to be around. Men love women that's in a good mood. One of the number one things that one of the number one attractive things that men really love in a woman is a woman that's very feminine and she's in a good mood and she's able to be pleased. You know, that man, he just want to be able to please you. He just want to be able to make you happy. But if you just always mad all the time or if you just or if you just take the fun out of everything, you never want to do nothing, never want to go nowhere, barely want to be around him or be anywhere or barely want to be around anybody, then you would not be a fun person to be around. So if you want somebody to be around you and you want somebody to like to be around you, then sometimes it's you that's pushing people away. Sometimes the reason why you ain't got no friends, you may say, oh, I ain't got no friends or, oh, I don't mess with nobody. I just don't mess with nobody. You know, I don't mess with no girls. I don't, you know, I don't have no home girls. I don't mess with no girls. You know, the reason why you ain't got no home girls sometimes is because don't nobody like you, you know, because you always got an attitude or, you know, you're always in a bad mood or you're a negative person. You always gossiping about somebody or you're always so negative. You know, you're always complaining about something. You always got some bad news or you're just always just talking stuff about people, just talking down on everybody, you know, stuff like that. Some people, a lot of people don't want to be around that or they feel your energy and they just feel like, you know, this is a negative person. Like your whole aura is negative. So some women, that's why some women don't have no friends or no man or they own family members don't mess with them. And they acting like, oh, you know, I just don't mess with nobody. No, I don't mess with nobody. No, nah, it's because nobody mess with you because your attitude and the way you are, don't nobody want to be around it, you know? So some women, not all women, but some women, their attitudes is real, real, real bad. And it pushes a lot of people away, especially men that like women that are, that like women that, you know, are cool, you know? You know, it's okay to be nice and cool, but, you know, be assertive when it's time to be assertive. But you ain't got to be mean all the time. It's a time and a place for everything, right? So when things are good, be cool. When things, you know, get up, when things, you know, get a little rocky and he start tripping, then that's when you can, you know, let him know, hey, you know, hey, I ain't with none of that, okay? But if ain't no smoke, ain't no fire, then don't be tripping, okay? Sometimes some women just be tripping for no reason, for nothing, you know? Ain't nobody did nothing to you, right? So that's number four. A lot of times you got to fix your mood and fix your attitude. And a lot of times that will attract just your aura as a woman. Just your energy as a woman will attract a lot of men. Because men sometimes can feel your energy and feel like, oh, this woman, uh-uh, I need to go the other way, right? So number five, the fifth and last and final reason why you cannot find a good man or a husband and you may have trouble with it is the way that you may carry yourself, right? So the way you may carry yourself may or may not play a factor in if a man wants to make you a girlfriend, fiance, or wife or not. You know, sometimes they do play a factor the way you carry yourself. So the way you carry yourself as a woman, and that goes for the inside and outside. So on the inside, like we was talking about before, the way you carry yourself about, you know, being too nice, about, you know, you can't be too nice, but you can't be all the way mean all the time and have a bad attitude 
either, you know? So the way you carry yourself like that and or the way you carry yourself just as a lady, period, you know? Sometimes your appearance on the outside may or may not play a factor in the types of men that may be attracted to you is sometimes the way that you carry yourself. So if you are a woman and you are not carrying yourself like a lady or you're not carrying yourself, you know, like a grown woman, you know, and maybe you carrying yourself like a little girl or you carrying yourself like, you know, you just out here doing whatever, then sometimes that's how a man going to treat you. A man going to treat a boss woman like a boss woman and a man going to treat a peasant woman like a peasant. You know what I'm saying? A, a man going to treat you like how the way you act, right? So, or the way you carry yourself or the respect that you put on yourself. So, you just need to be that boss woman and you need to carry yourself like a lady, be a boss woman, have some morals, have some standards, have some values to yourself, you know, have some self-worth, have some self-respect for yourself. And that men don't have no choice but to respect you because you respect yourself and you carry yourself a certain type of way. He see your energy. He can see like when you walk through the door, he see like everybody turn their head. Everybody gravitate towards you. Everybody like, whoa, this is a goddess that just walked in the door. This is a whole, this, this is a masterpiece. You know, she's a beauty masterpiece, piece of art. You know, like she is just amazing when she walked through, like she's so graceful when she walks through. You know, and a lot of times even men and even women, even women can even feel that you are a boss woman. They can feel your energy, just how you walk, how you talk, just how you just step, you know, how you step in your heels, you know, how you just keep up with yourself. You take care of yourself and stuff like that. You know, a lot of times a man will treat you the way how you portray or the way how you or the way how you treat yourself. If you treat yourself like you not nothing, then a man will treat you like you nothing. But if you walk in and talking and acting like you something and you somebody and you be somebody and be a woman of substance, be a woman that's more than just her body. That's the number one thing you want to be is just more than just your body. Be a woman that's more than just her looks. Be a woman that's just more than just her behind. Be a woman that's just more than just her chest. Be a woman that's more than just her kitty cat. You know, be a woman of substance, of something, you know? And that's exactly how a man going to treat you. When a man see that you got more to offer than just your looks or your body, that's how a lot of times you will attract the best mate possible, the best man possible for you. Because he will see that this is a different type of woman. This ain't no woman I could just, you know, have sex with and that's it. Or this ain't no, you know, casual hookup. This ain't no casual sex partner. This is a wife. She carrying herself. Like, she walked through the door, that's a wife right there. The way how she walked, the way she looked, the way she dressed, the way she carried herself, the way she looked. The way she acts, woo, hey, I'm on her. You know what I'm saying? She different. So when you just carry that type of energy and take care of yourself and you just exude that confidence and you're just a confident woman and stuff like that, then a man will have no choice but to admire you. And that will attract the best man a lot of times possible. And a lot of times that's the reason why you can't find a good man is because you may or may not be carrying yourself in a bad way or portraying yourself in maybe a negative persona that 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 man deems as negative or some men deem as negative and maybe you need to carry yourself and you know and you know be more confident within yourself and stop allowing a man to disrespect you or you know stick up for yourself 
have some more morals and values and self-respect for yourself. And then a man will actually take you serious, right? So a man can only take you serious if you take yourself serious first, right? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was my top five reasons why a woman may or may not have a hard time trying to find love, especially in this generation. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.